Let's play. Okay. Open your first. It's easy. Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. So in today's Marvelous Designer course, we will learn how to create this Squid Games jacket. So this was the jacket worn in the series Squid Games. It kind of looks like this, but this is a replica of it. But in actual, it looks like something like this. So it have a different sort of sleeve attached to the jacket. So we will learn this, how to do this like kind of a sleeve. Okay. And line as you can see uh, we have already learned this in our last lesson the one that we created on the trouser similarly we will do it here how to create a patch okay a pocket and this sort of a uh, you can say the collar the zipper already we have learned but we will apply it over here the wristbands okay and how to make it little fluffy and as you know we have learned to create uh like a fluffy sort of a jacket using the over uh uh like clone like cloning over so this is what we are going to learn so what we need uh, what i will do right now is that i will just make a space for the jacket here i will select it all and i will hide it instead of uh, freezing it or anything else Simple hide. Now I need to add a pattern. I already have a pattern here. So I will go right click at background image, choose image file. Okay. And this is the jacket pattern here. I will click on it, open it. I will keep the 100% size, which I think is fine. Okay. Uh, but let's uh, right click again at background because I need to move it. and then press OK. Now it's fine. So what next I will do here is, here is that I will take my polygon tool and start creating polygon over here. This is the front part of the jacket. This is the sleeve. You can see the sleeve is quite different than uh, the one that we have uh, created in the, our last classes. And as well, this is the back side. And this is only one side, so we will clone, uh, we will like, duplicate it to uh, the other side as well. So here I will click one time, okay. And then here, click and drag to create this curve. And then click it here. And click and drag a bit here. Click and drag a little bit here as well. Click and drag create this sort of a curve. Click and drag here. Click here. And click here. Press Shift key so you can create straight line. Shift and click it here. That's all. Okay, so as soon as it is done, it will show me the fabric here. But what I can do is that I can add a new fabric and change the fabric's opacity. This is a temporary fabric. So I don't have to rename it. Do something like 33 and apply over here. So I can see what is beneath it. I will take Edit Pattern Tool. And I can start ad adjusting these bezairs okay little closer to what it is it doesn't have to be 100 percent the one that you are looking for but as closer you can do it it will it will make your uh pattern look nicer So this is the front 
and I will just go here. Control D, which is the shortcut for symmetric with uh, sewing. And I will put it on the other side. Now it's time for the sleeve, which is a quite diff uh, different sort of a sleeve here. Okay, but we'll come to the sleeve later on. First, we will work with the back side. I will take this what you want to look in, click it here, here, okay. There are some points that are already on the pattern that you can use to trace up. And then go ahead here. Then click it here here and here i'll take my edit pattern tool with just these lines okay Now from the front, we can understand it is, uh, it's a uh, opening part, but from the back, it should not be an opening part. Uh, however, for uh, <clears throat> sewing, it will be easier us to keep it open temporarily, then we can merge the point. So control D as well, and move it to the side. So we have it here. Now simple what you need to do is that once you're done, you drag and drop the fabric, normal fabric over it. Now we will move back here. And what I need to do here is uh, I'll just press shift F. Okay. Arrange these points with the arrangement points. These need to go back here, right click, flip horizontal, right click, flip horizontal, and then click it here. Okay, shift F. Now, I need to uh, attach these. So I will choose a segment solving tool. Attach these two here. And, oops, what is happening? I think I'm selecting a wrong one. Is it a wrong one? No, it's a site. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, I don't know what was happening before. So done, the sides. Now I will attach the front, like sew the front together and the back together. Now notice if I will uh, like simulate it, so only sides are uh, stitched together, not the top part. Okay, so what will happen? It will it will f fall for sure. If I will simulate it. Okay, and then just notice what will happen to it. It will fall, which is not what I want. So I will undo and I will do a little trick here. What is the trick? First of all, I will take these two and move them a little closer. Not too much, a little. Okay, once done, then I can take my uh, pin lasso, uh, like pin lasso tool or a box lasso and pin the top parts of both sides. At least these sides will uh, 
will be uh, like a stick in the uh, what you call the air like it will not fall it will be pinned to the air it will not fall it will be stable over there now i will simulate it okay and this is actually what i want right now okay once this is done i will turn off the simulation and i will start now working on the sleeve i will take my polygon tool again start from here and start creating this these sleeves here by the way this pattern you can find in the description below not only this pattern everything that i have used in this uh, course is uh, it's link to download is given in the uh, description below i will press shift so it will stay straight okay now i will apply fabric 2 to it which is transparent and i will take my edit pattern tool uh something is missing here i think that's fine if we need it later on we can add it but right now i think it's it's not an issue rest is fine okay i will duplicate this with the control d so it will be symmetrical with the uh with the uh what you call the so, uh, so uh sewing and now i can apply normal fabric to each one of these now actually why this looks so weird the thing is this area of my sleeve will be attached to this part completely and this area here is conforming with this part of the neck the uh, left and lower part of the neck and it will serve as a uh, as an opening okay so this is how uh, it is now one thing i will do here is that i will press shift f on my keyboard and arrange it something like this that's too high yeah this will be fine okay so simple shift f i don't need uh mn uh free sewing i will just take my segment sewing tool oh sorry free sewing tool will be the better and i will take this whole thing from here and leaving this part because this is the opening for the neck actually and then this part done see it will go here now i will take from here and uh to here so simple taking this part and this is the opening for the neck which is the back part of the neck so i will leave this part and start from here all the way going here okay and then uh underneath the sleeves we have left one part this which is the most simplest part so simple this part to this part whenever you have a lot of uh like uh split points you can use free sewing tool because segment sewing tool then you have to keep on uh like like stitching uh, different points to different point and it will be an issue if you don't if uh there are more split points here and less split points here so it will it's not a perfect division so free sewing tool helps in that form now once we are done i will just press simulation again Okay. 
So this is actually what I wanted. But now we don't need that uh, this the pinpoints. So I don't want it to hold it in the air. So I will just press Control W to remove it. And here we go. So let's pull it down. And keep in mind, there is a T-shirt underneath. Okay, so I have resetted all the layers that we uh, created in the last class so that we will create a separate layer uh, in this lesson. Okay, so that's why I left it open. Now you can see everything is fine. And just notice how this is attached. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. In the next class, we will create a uh, the side lines here, okay, and the joint, and also the uh, like to the other side, okay. So, if you have liked my videos, everyone, so please uh, click the like uh, if like button. If you have enjoyed the video, so click the like button. And if you guys always like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon. Also, uh, to support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful. So take care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning on the Interactive, your own training institute. If you are enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird Membership Plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends Membership Plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 